it's opening day, um, May 1st, 2017. Um, heading out to a spot where I've been watching birds for a couple weeks now. Um, they've been there every morning that I've been there. I, I'd either see them or, or hear them before work. And uh, I roosted another spot as well. I roosted four big gobblers in another spot, but that's going to be my backup for today. If this doesn't work out, I'm going to head over there, locate the birds, and uh, set up where I need to be. But um, I didn't hardly sleep last night. Excited. Um, still like a little kid on opening day. I got a deer blowing at me already. And it didn't start out very well. I hit a deer on the way to my hunting spot. Jack the front of my truck all up. But I'm still here. This may not be my day. It sure didn't start out good. Now I got a deer blowing at me. And I haven't heard a turkey gobble yet. For some reason, the birds here don't gobble a whole lot. That's usually a little later, so we'll see. Hopefully, my day gets better. Game on. Bird just gobbled over the hill. First gobble of the morning. Like I said, for some reason they don't gobble a lot here. There's another gobble. There's a hen up there talking to. just flew down. <laughs> I just saw like, like four hens fly out of the trees. Oh, they're up there. <clears throat> that gobbler's on the other side of the ridge. It's a strutter right over that way. He's not making a sound. He's about 100 yards away. around too. I can hear them at a distance. The hens are working their way down into the woods now. They're coming.
shot him good. The string went out for about 20 seconds or so. I don't know how far he actually made it. He just went into the thick stuff behind me. Holy cow, maybe something good will happen and come out of this day after I hit a deer on the way here and jacked my truck all up. Man, what a hunt. He did not want to come for the longest time. He only gobbled twice all morning. I didn't even know he was there. I had all three cameras on, so hopefully... Well, I got this one on my head. There's one over there behind the decoys and the main camera. Hopefully I got it on all three. Well, after looking at the footage, um, it hit something hard, but it went in plenty. It looked like it was right on the money. I mean, I don't... I don't see any blood on the ground, and I'm gonna give him a little more time. It's been about 45 minutes, but boy, I'm I'm 95% sure he's dead out there. Hopefully, when the string stopped, it was because he stopped and he's dead right there. Not that you know the arrow fell out or the string broke. But just to be safe, I've got all day. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna play it safe and uh, just give him some time and enjoy the morning. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty positive he's, you know, fingers crossed, he's gonna be right here in this thick stuff behind me. I've been watching these birds, watching them and listening to them for uh, about two weeks now. And, I mean, they were here every day. Some days they were on fire gobbling, and most of the time they didn't gobble much. And last week there was four of them here. This morning I only saw this one, but there was more further back. But, uh, oh my God, what a show he put on. It took him forever to come in. He finally left his hands and come strutting right in. And uh, he's a beautiful bird. I don't know how much he weighs, but I guarantee he's one of the heaviest birds I've ever killed. His beard looks like it's about 10 inches. And his spurs are just, I mean, just, I don't know. They're super sharp and got to be an inch and a quarter. I mean, one of my best birds ever by far. Oh, man. What a beauty.